goal to get to the map. That is the goal. The only goal that matters is to get to the map. There's a few things you can do here uh, to get some more loot, uh, which I will not say no to. I will not say no to more loot. I will take all of the loot. All of it will be mine. Uh, you just have to go past these people who are not happy with you taking their stuff. But don't worry. Uh, it's forced borrowing, as I like to call it. Forced borrowing. Up, up, and away. Sup, my dude. Blum out. Hit him once for disrespect. Is that another Grace over there? Or is that the one? No, that's the one I already have. And Ballista. Yoink. Yoink. Uh, now one more. Go all the way down to the power. It's not the Okay. Thank you for the goods, my friends. Have a nice day. Crap. Some free runes. Oh, there's more free runes right here. I think these things just spawn in random. I have no idea what causes them. Maybe it's when you're exploring and you stay in an area for a while, they spawn in or something. But, you know, free 200 buckaroos. I won't say no. That dude is gone and is now a dark spot on the map with no fire. Really sad. Trust me, they're all flame cultless to a so the flame of madness my reasoning is sound there is no murder in bossing say or something like that uh, we got the map we touch this to make that go away and now we get to play run past the arrow oh and uh, I gotta get this up here too oh come on double jump why aren't you double jumping all of a sudden are you are you trolling me thank you thank you Excuse me, giant. Come on. Alright, yoink. Just gonna yoink that. And uh, he's gonna shoot another arrow. Which we will ignore. Actually, before I go to the other side of the peninsula, I should probably, there's a tower nearby that I can get for memory slots. What's up, dude? That's me. That. Can you shoot your shoot your arrow? All right, thank you. And away we go. Boing. Uh, if you go through this area, you get a very cool colossal sword, which is a Game of Thrones reference. But alas, it's a reference I do not need on this current build. Uh, is there any items in here? I'm just gonna break everything. All right, uh, so we got the map and you'll notice there's actually a thing right there that we want to go to. So we will teleport back to the jump pad. I would love memory slots. I would need them because they're actually useful to me, even though I only have two spells. So don't think about it. Okay. This one's a troll because I, there's an invisible one in the lake. Uh, so basically, these towers have random quests. You just start them by coming over and clicking on the tablet. Seek three wise beasts. Oh my goodness, look at this wise beast right here. Alright, that's one wise beast. And then we come over here. And you'll notice there's a bunch of messages on the ground and the water splashes. You just smack them with your cane. Like a pimp. And the last one I believe is up on the rocks over here. And there's also a, a mana shard nearby. That we can get as we uh, look around for the tortoise. Or was, oh no, he's right by the entrance. Okay, if I recall, he's right by the entrance. I have this. I've lost my, my thing, my, uh, my mental fortitude or something like that. Mental fortitude is not the... Brain. 
brain. Brain part. Brain moment. Brain whatever. Uh, so here's the turtle. Goodbye. And the D door opens, and I hate that that message requires you to press a button before you can do anything. It's really tragic. You've also probably noticed by now that I switched Y to A. Because Y A. Because A Y. Yes. Alright. Memory slots, please. Yoink. We are now memory, and I think there's actually gravity magic I can pick up nearby if I kill a specific enemy. Uh, I think they give me a magic spell for murdering them. I'm not going to remember offhand, so I will just murder them anyway. Which is the normal correct response to violence. It's to uh, predominantly give it out. It's free. Yoink. More 200 buckaroos. There's actually a grace here before we go into the glowing purple pits of doom. So basically, gravity magic comes from space. Who would have thought? Topical. Uh, swing my staff to let me do that every single time. Kill. And what we basically want to worry about is that glowing portal of doom there. We want to kill as many of these guys before we go near the glowing portal of doom, preferably. Uh, for reasons that we will find out when you go near the glowing portal. And the last one, right there. Can I hit him from here? No. Here? No, because I need mana. Oh, I activated the portal, but I can kill this thing first. Alright, here it is. This is the thing we need to kill. Uh, don't get hit by that spell. Uh, hit number one. Okay. direction and troll him a bit oh no I got hit by it there we go uh, does he drop the spell or does he just leave me empty-handed I think that's very rude of him right, let's get a gravity chunk okay I thought he would give me a spell but he didn't which is very inconsiderate uh, there is a crypt over here so I guess while I'm over here why not I need the levels. I need them. I must have the levels. I forget the recommended level to fight the dude outside the market, outside the castle. Um, but it's probably a decent amount. Only like level... Round 20? I, I don't know offhand. And you know, it's normal stuff. We could put more into that, but I do need to start getting more health. But we need to do that, so. Uh, oh, not you. Does this give me enough for a level? 400. No, I have to use another one. Oh. Just like that. Race, and I can level up my health stat. Oh, that's like 20 more health. <laughs> I need it. Alright, so there's going to be a dude who's going to drop from the ledge. Or is he hanging? I can't remember where he is. Either way, there's this dude down here. He's very rude. He tries to shoot you, and then the guy comes from behind. Which is also very rude. I'm not going to need this, but I will touch it anyway. Because now the enemy is caught up to me. Perfect strategies, right? Uh, we got a dude on the left, I believe, or the right. Uh, we do want this. Uh, level up our spirit. But we will not encounter the spirit upgrader until after uh, doing a thing. Oh, we got number two already. Number two, Wapu. No extra levels. 
Uh, ow. There you go. That's what happens when you get bled. You get stunlocked, and when you're a little fragile mage, But now, for us, we don't need to go that way, so we can just, you know, go the other way. Different direction. Ingredients uh, respawn. At least some of them do. Ow. Ow. Do not. Thank you. We can get our health onto the bar, because we do not want to die. We're told my death. Uh, we get stunned by the dude falling from the ceiling. Classic. And it's only 50 runes over there, not worth going back. We touch this, we go down, and like so. And there's a whole bunch of things down here. For one, there's this. It's just the first thing. The next thing we want to touch is through all these enemies. Prattling, please help. Classic. Uh, not really a classic, I think that's a new addition to the all signs. Uh, it's a ladder over here. No. But there is a whole bunch of enemies who are going to be like, Yo dog, you stole my stuff. And I'll be like, yep, I did. Well, it's a whole bunch of upgrades down here. There's the ladder. Just uh, casually, of course, again, ignoring all the enemies. What's that? I forget what that icon is up at the top with the X on it. Probably like no homeware bone or something. Who knows? Activate this. Voila, we can now fight the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get I get it. You're just trolling me in this entire dungeon. Classic. Haha <laughs> hee hee. I'm laughing so hard. Ignore these enemies again. Or get hit by them. Whichever you and now we can go back to the boss fight and all we have to worry about is the one dude at the bottom here who's going to hit me and make me take damage before the boss which is a great resource management yep there you go thank you not hitting me this time and away we go and through the door get our wolves ready this is another cat, I believe. Uh, this time, though, we do have to fight these things on the ground. Uh, these guys can be, as you can see, very annoying. Because they poke you, and I do not have a lot of health. Very annoying. I also have no mana, because the wolves cost a lot of something. And my wolves all die. Hmm. I may have fighting. Uh, but we're fine. Okay, next target locked on. Please hit him. Okay. Where's the last one? There he is. Just gonna roll into him, roll away from him because we're almost dead, and we do not get to roll in time. Touching the boss, classic. Uh, do we want to try that again, but with AOE, or do we just want to come back to this later? I think this might be a comeback. So we'll leave the Impaler's Catacombs for now. We only really want to fight the boss anyway for uh, levels. Uh, so we want to go there. It's a church. I believe the next church is that one. And those are the main places for grace. I think there's also like a grace somewhere around there. Uh, there's the Erd tree right there. Oh, uh, I forget what that one gives you as, uh, big Zeke components for killing, but you're not. It is probably not something I need, because I know the two I need for my physique are way off in the distance. 
Excuse me, sir. Coming through. I didn't do the other two bosses yet. I haven't done that. Uh, basically, the church up on the hill, which I put a marker on, uh, is for the specific reason that there is a sacred tier, which is basically how you get sacred tiers in this game. Uh, some fool fell off the edge. Thank you, I guess. For those runes. There is, uh, I forget what's down there. I know there's a mine, which means more smithing stones. Uh, but other than that, I don't know what's down there. Uh, this area, I believe there's some items in the graveyard that we can touch. Of course, there's angry boys who are very mad that we're looting their uh, place of burial. But, you know, look, man, man's got to eat. That's, uh, that's the current excuse from people who are greedy and never know when to stop taking money. Okay, Grace touched. Touch that, because I don't want that thing on my map anymore. Grab the sacred tear, go behind the pillar, and away we go. Now we can go to the next one. I think that this Grace is closer over here. Got some deer, we got some skulls. You uh, get the first thing, but we have no remembrance, so there's no point in doing anything with that. But that basically allows you to duplicate boss stuff, which is very handy dandy because for some reason they decide that the boss things don't give you very many runes, which means it's completely useless to just use them for levels, sadly. Uh, where is it? I know it's right here. I know it in my heart. There it is. Now we get this. There's also, I believe, another catacombs right next to where the Erd tree is up on that hill that way. Right beside that pillar, I believe there's another crypt, which is another boss to kill for levels. Because I refuse to farm the basics get soul from them. Runes. Every time I'm gonna cry, every time I say souls, I'll say runes. Every time. But, uh, alas, uh, does this even, yeah, this has a grace in it. This has a grace. Just have to enter from the side, because there's angry dudes out the front, as there normally is. And I should have two flask upgrades now. Which is very nice of the game to give us that much. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, is there anything noteworthy I'm thinking I missed? I don't think so. Uh, we're just going to increase this. My health stamina, or uh, my health and everything else is not that great. Uh, so it'll be funny upgrading my flask already, but you know. As we can, we should. Questionable. Uh, do do do. So yeah, there's a cave right there. There's uh, enemies right around there. There's another place I can enter. There's the frenzy town of death and destruction. Uh, for now, probably the best bet is to go and fight in here. And I should start getting ready to buy spells. Buying spells would be good. Very good, preferably. Okay. Equip the torch. Equip the bolts. Am I still light rolling? I am. Good. And what do we got that bolt equipped currently? It's good. Uh, there's one enemy. I only died in one shot. Noted. Noted that they die that easily. That one's got a shield. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, they give you random bits and bobs, as any goblin would. Have lots of bits and bobs of bob. Got a 
that shield out. You'll still die and get hit. Okay. More enemies. There's this one here. He's got a little bit more health than the normal. Dolchion. Rainbow Glowing Rock. And this is the boss area, right? I don't have enough mana to summon. Now I do. And the first one is on the left here. got the needle. Uh, we're going to go through this way just to get the grace and then we'll come back and give it to you. Just so I don't have to walk through the cave again with all the enemies. Well, they'd still be dead, but that'd be a lot of walking. So we come up here. Or question mark. Oh, hello. Side. Uh, there is no swimming in this game. If you read a message that says try boat, it's a lie. Do not believe it. And a touch. Boom, bada bing. Okay. Uh, if you kill a dragon, you consume its heart here and you get cool magical powers. Yay. Is there a chest here? Can't remember if there's a chest in this area. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Stop me from checking. Yeah, I don't see any chests. So we will just travel back to Bozo over here and give him his needle. Here you go, dog. Oh, you got it. Yeah, here's your needle. That's the, that the weirdest face ever. Thing of, thing of nightmares right there. What made my mum and that was so I always Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a weird world to choose to be a tailor in, I'm just saying. I always You know somebody's gotta make the clothes, I guess. Uh, that's the end of his dialogue. Uh, things we can do, things we can do. Like that. I think we, yeah, we already did that one. That's the bridge. What's that dude there? We can go up this way. There's a, I believe there's an Asha or a Dung Beetle there. 
but that so I think the next thing is the cave this one here and maybe go into the frenzy town but it would just be me running bet is to go down and into the cave first. Because we love collectibles that we can loot. And I will be right back for just a moment. Can go to the jump pad, but that's probably unnecessary. Uh, we can go past all these guys. Killing them doesn't matter because they respawn. Of course they would, right? Of course. Why wouldn't they respawn? Very nice of them. Just a field of poison and and in we go. More levels, please, game. More levels. More levels. There's sometimes there are secret things you can drop from on the elevators, but usually, from my experience, it's nothing usually noteworthy. I'm sure one of them probably is like an ash, but for the most part, it's usually just consumable items. And you have to do a drop puzzle afterwards to get back down because the elevator is gone and you're trapped on the cliffside. Ah, uh, this place has these guys in it the correct spell. Only two shots. Okay. Not the end of the world. Um, kill this dude from over here. Sure. Oh. Classic. He's gonna run all the way around. Just to die. Okay. Please. Thank you. There comes the second one. Also want to go across the ladder here to get the loot from up here. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, more smithing stones. Goodbye. I forgot to think of one shot. And there we go. More smithing stones. And jump over that. Heal, heal mana, rebuild mana, whatever. Okay. This is the correct way to go. So I want to go backwards. And I think it's just like the same thing in the last dungeon. This is what armor more backwards do. Very nice, thank you. And with monsters in it. I don't remember which one had the 
pad next to it and probably doesn't. Just two dudes laying down right there and there's another one behind me. Not that I want it. Let me target the dude over there. Target this dude. Collapse my unit and go that way. Probably down. Uh, maybe not even either. Are there any back here? Doesn't look like any somber stone. Very good. Oh, hello. Mourning the loss of your friend. Let me congratulate you. Alrighty. Now we can finally go in here. There's a chest. Is the chest a trap? I don't believe it was. We built a flesh already. More, it's more stuff. Very good. Very good. Now we can start going back this way. Do 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 Kill the one with wings first. Thank you, range combat. One and a two. Oh, and no mana. Or you. Goodbye. Ah, using range. Almost like they designed this game for melee. I don't know why they made magic so good. It used to be horrible before because you got range. Uh, boss room that way. It's like trying to use faith in the Dark Souls 3. Shouldn't do it. Nice try, buddy old pal. Exploding barrels everywhere. Go more of that. Thank you very good. Down here. Yep, I refuse to believe that this is empty. But alas, it is. So let's just get out of there. And go towards the boss. Uh, how much mana do I have left? Uh, this might be me dying. Like the boss. Uh, I'll build and equip the sword. Uh, because we will need it. I am medium rolling now, probably. Okay. Can I wear any armor? Put on some pants. Can I put on the gloves? Can I put on just the gloves? Okay. And we're going to summon what is in here. Oh, this goodness me. There it is. It's the dude with an axe. Attack my minions. Alright, that's the last cast we get on that. Hit him, my minions. suffered for it consequentially. Oh, it's gonna hit me again because he decided not to target the wolf. Thank you, me. Thank you. Downward smash, roll, headbutt, stab, stab. I still have one wolf. Uh, he's about to die though. Alright. Oh, another 
boss killed at my hands and he gives us the anchor classic uh, is there anything in here there's probably nothing there's messages though messages that tell you about lies and deceit yes who would put an illusionary wall in a boss room which you can hit in the middle of the fight never that would never happen Okay, we should have a few more levels. No, I don't want to go back down to get him, though. Ah, uh, next one's right there, so we'll just go to the church to get to that one. The reason I don't go back down the mines because then I couldn't teleport. Game decides, so I'll just level up elsewhere. Leveling up elsewhere is a good idea. Do, do, do more health. I can do that twice. Stamina caps out at 25 for equip load, so you don't really need mage. And other than that, nothing too over the top. You can see there's a statue that's going to point to it. There's an undead crypt. There's a guy with a light up stick that points at it. Sometimes the pointing is nice. Sometimes he literally just points to the ground and you're like, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, so we're just going to attach this and you're like, oh, where is it? It's very hidden. There we go. And in we go. More levels. What level are we currently? You're level 20 exact. I thought I was already level 20. I'll get to the appropriate level rather soon, hopefully. Uh, what item is in there? I don't have any keys, though. Oh, I do have enough. Okay. No. Ah, it's just a cookbook. Just a cookbook. And now we play the fun mini game of ignoring all the enemies. As we run, 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 and we run, and we run. There's only one solution, and it's to run. That's where we want to go. That's where we need to go. So that's where we shall go. Yoink. Yoink. Uh, ignore all of them. Excuse me, kind sir. Uh, do, do, do. Ignore you as well. Don't mind me. It's the time for that. So we'll just play the game of Dodge the Skeleton. Ah, thank you. We have failed the game of Dodge the Skeleton, but now we know there is the Torchbearer. That is a flaming conundrum at the end of this. That I will need good timing to get past, so that will be fun when I run past all these enemies repeatedly to get there as is a standard procedure. Oh, there's my timer, by the way. I should be able to kill this before I end the episode. Oh, doing that. Switch to the staff. And this run, run, run is to the left. Pass this dude, doing that. There's the flamethrower. Uh, we didn't collect our souls, I'm going to die. Oh, we didn't die. Uh, surprisingly. Uh, get away from me. Be gone, heathen. Oh, and there's this dude here. Ah, uh, bloody, bloody. Bloody, bloody, bloody. I have no health stat. I did level it up, though. My greed did not overcome me as I went for more intelligence in mine. I put more stats into the appropriate areas for me to do so, and I will not be shamed otherwise. Uh, I only remember to go around the right side on that. Uh, then we gotta remember left for tunnel. Then we gotta remember flaming hell spawn at the end of this that we can actually survive so we will 
uh, just run into it. Break, and then this guy's gonna get up. Spamming weapon attacks. Goodbye, sucker. Grab the item. Wait again, cause our green tells us. And then we can go through and this bad boy with our torch. Ironic. Fire glass flame. Or something like that. Is it worth going down here? Thank you. Thank you for that. I think I go on top of this to get to the end of it. If I recall correctly. Ow. Game. You can't just do this to me. You can't. Come on, skellies. Go. Ow. Hit him with fire. Hit him. Hit him. That's right. That's what you get, punk. Hoped to death. Fear my wrath. My consequential. Give me more skeletons. I bet you in this area. Because they would do that. Thank you. Yoink. Gonna be a skeleton probably right here on the side. Just gonna pop out. No? No, you're tired of the same trick game? Huh? That's fine. We open the door. We run away. We forget that we pulled the lever, so now I may have a mental crisis for a few seconds until I see that the door is open. Thank you. And we ignore the skeletons again. We're just gonna we're just gonna run all the way back. All the way back. Goodbye, skeletons. See you never. Never see you again, please. Alrighty, there's an arrow in my arm. And it hurts me so. Alright. Should I switch up my ashes, by the way? I am enjoying them. You have the jellyfish. There's also a sorcerer. Those are just range. I don't really need that. I need a tanky boys who are willing to get slapped. Because you got things like this in the boss teleports because, yes. Oh. Oh, there we go. Hello, teleporting boss. Ow. Span the button, span the button, roll. Bell. Be it by the wolves, the sucker, as we get for having teleport into this. That's right. Doing dirty. Oh, wait a minute, that's a legendary? Can I even summon that with my current man? Because that's actually the, uh, this guy is actually the best tank spirit, I believe, besides your mimic. Which is, of course, upgrade your mimic for better health stat. Uh, is there anything over here that's like this thing on the ground? Not really that great, but you know, I'll pick it up anyway. Uh, so that's actually a really nice find. Uh, the only problem I find with that is this one, it's a really good tank, but because it's a phantom, it teleports around. It doesn't hold aggro very well, which is not very nice. Uh -oh. get, get rid of that. No, get rid of the thing on top of it. Uh, do, 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 to go up here, fight this thing. I think there's also, uh, a dung beetle thing there. But we already, oh, we know it's not that great. We can go and fight the Erd tree, which will probably just be death. Wow, even, can I even do it with a full mana pool? Let me check that. Wow, even with a full mana pool, I don't have enough to summon him. Okay, put the wolves back for now. Uh, it is fair enough. It is a, a legendary summon. 
so it's fair that that cost me more mana than I currently have at level 20. Fair in the sense that I am enraged, enraged at this realization. Uh, don't think there's anything else here besides all these phantoms, which we do not want to fight. I will, I guess, fight the Earth tree soon and to uh, mix my physique, make it actually useful. Uh, this thing, you just walk up to this and you smack this stuff and uh, the thing falls down. Very standard stuff. Some of them are a bit tricky, like there's one you literally have to ride on a root system and jump onto, but that's of course very, very end game. If you find that early game, you will probably have lost your sanity because you would have died repeatedly getting there. You do you. It's fine. Uh, do, do, do. We got this guy in here. He sells us very good items, like the Lantern, which is a, a media buy. Even though that was a level, it is an immediate buy. And you know the drill at this point. Still have a bunch of mana. <laughs> Look at him running around. Come on. Come on. You're an annoying little boy. Oh my god. He's just gonna keep doing this. My goodness. Oh, let's uh, I guess heal while we're waiting for him to stop his madness. Let's pull out a sword, two hand the sword, and we'll just hit the horse. Come on, shopkeep. And now you get to do the repose and pick up what your dude has to offer. And away you go. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm a bandit. I don't get any of your stuff for free by killing you. Stop that. I have to pay for it still. Don't worry. I'll pay. Pay to another person, not you though. Uh, bit away from that. Uh, there's a fun tower up there if you want to have a good time. We do not want to have a good time. So we just go back to this and we're going to go up. Try and see if we can fight the Erdtree. Uh, I don't know if I have the mana capacity to do so, but I will fight the Erdtree nonetheless. If I am not anything but tenacious, then I am not tenacious. What? I just said. Words just happen. Words just happen. I've gone distracted. I probably should have ended the episode by now. It's probably gone on for a really long time. So I will do that now. And next time we come back, we will fight the Earth Tree.